what is going on guys, the Soros Vax here today, back again with another Hanover 96 for 23 career mode episode, season 2, episode 6 for you guys today, obviously gonna get through the month of December, and it is a, again, it's an, every episode's a big episode, but today we're against top of the league, Armenia Beifeld, SV Sandhausen, and a, a second game against Braunschweig, so we're gonna have to play well, we're gonna have to definitely improve upon few things from the last episode where we didn't play great in the two matches we lost but you know we need to win we need to start closing the gap and putting a bit of pressure on the teams at the top I mean we're not having a bad year but we just need to sort a few things out and get as many points as possible be nice to get nine points from nine today I mean obviously but Armenia Beifeld they've lost two games I mean they're six points ahead of us so we need to try and get three points and close the gap on them. I mean, just behind Schalke and Bochum as well. So that, that that also does put the pressure on us. I mean, but I mean, you buy far the first, Braunschweig the second, no, Braunschweig the seventh. Sorry, not second. And that Sandhausen are twelfth, but we know they can put up a job. I mean, so we're getting closer to the January transfer window. I mean, we're still thinking of some areas to improve. We've got some players scouted for possible free transfers for next season, but we won't get into that too much today. Still got £14 million in the budget. I do have my eye on a, a player, but I'm not going to say I'm not going to go into that at the minute. Possibly get him for free, or possibly I might buy him while his contract's low, and it could definitely improve this team. Still, I mean, Zeeland's done a lot better this year. I mean, look at how things are. He's kept a few more clean sheets. But he's making a few more saves. It was nice to kept a clean sheet in the last episode against Paderborn. Doesn't come along very well. But yeah, there's nothing too much to really talk about. I mean, let's get straight into the home game against Byfield, as it's going to be a big one. The man to watch in imperious form and the leading marksman in the league. Can he add to his total today? And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position. And alongside me is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is live action from the Zweite Bundesliga. It's Hannover and they face Armenia Bielefeld. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Hannover. A sumptuous ball. And a goal! The vision to play this through ball is superb. And then the shot... He had it on target, but it was no use of advantage. The referee allowing play to continue. And the keeper making sure that the... Useful looking position, you've got to say. Oh, and he didn't miss by very much. Yeah. Serra. A terrific pass. And there it is, a chance. It's in. They're looking really relaxed and confident. It's a really nice ball to put in through. They've got forward with pace and with numbers. Oh, Stuart, they've got to score. Safe pair of hands. Excellent ball over the top. In the opinion of the referee, that is a penalty. Well, he's avoided a booking, but the complaints continue. And I can understand why. I think it's a poor foul. It should be a yellow card for me. This to get back into it. Goal! Taking aim from the spot and finding the target. For him, he's got it wrong bad challenge and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next well he's and will it be the leveller surely magnificent stuff and quite the comeback from two goals down again and it's really poor defending teammates in the middle And now the question is, can they see this out? Whirly. And he might be through here. And missing the chance to give them a bit of breathing space. Well, that should have made it more comfortable. 
Firing it towards goal. Oh, the guy's ball. Could be. Well, he didn't miss by an awful lot. Watching home advantage counts. Oh, can he finish it here, Derek? And a goal to increase their advantage to two overall. That little bit of a cushion. Now it's all about keeping the concentration. The ball. Still looking to get the shot off. And that goes down as added on. Well, not giving the opposite. Well, not so fast. The referee says penalty. And really need this. And the keeper denies them from the spot. Fans are going to be happy about this outcome. Well, we talked before the game about their poor defending, but today it was all about their attacking play. They really did show a lot of quality in possession, particularly in the wide areas. That was a good win for them. Hello and welcome. We have to be honest, it's not a very pleasant night for football. The rain has been coming down heavily in advance of this game. I'm Derek Ray and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. And coming up for you, action from the Zweite Bundesliga. How do you see the match going, Stuart? Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Backs and at least one of their mid by right. Can they take the lead here? Well, what a stop that was. All their own way, did they? But while their defending should have been better. Will he finish? Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. Played in rather well. Football! And throwing himself up the ball. Let's see about the delivery. Chance to cross. Surely! Well, he's missed the chance. Goal, as we may well see today. Oh, Stuart, opportunity here. Oh, he's done it. But hang on. Offside is the verdict here. It's not going to stand. Well, you can tell he thought he was onside here. Buffal, and no problems at all for the keeper. Must take the lead here, and they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Alex Scott can provide us with the information. It's a... Must be! Oh, can you believe what we've just seen? I think we're going to be viewing that goal time and time again. Good vision. Now the attack fizzled out. Buffal, he's blocked it. Karma, surely the crossbar got in the way. Oh, a really good header, but the goalkeeper now. And the referee doesn't hesitate, that is a spot kick. Can they make it 3-0? And there it is! Perfectly executed! Each decision. Great opportunity! And a goal to delight the fans! So back underway. And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. Both counts. Real chance! And he scored not once, but twice. They simply cannot stop him. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. A top-class player. Oh, really good reflexes and danger averse. Just wanted to get it out of there. Well, such a high degree of difficulty. Not quite in the end. 
Well, they could run onto it here. Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. The right connection. It's a lovely goal. Safe pair of hands to get pace. And searching for his second. But still here, and it's a victory for the visitors. Well, Derek, they were the better team all over the pitch. We saw good individual performances. We saw an attack which was always threatening, and they played really well. What a performance that was today. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance, hasn't he, Stuart? Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent. Anticipation around the city today. It's Derby Day, but who's going to come out on top? All the action coming up next. Don't go anywhere. And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And on the menu, live action from the Zweite Bundesliga. It's Hannover, and they face Eintracht Braunschweig. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. for Hannover. Draw pass. Fruitful looking attack. Could be a goal. They've opened the scoring in the derby. Well, the ball is moving here. Still not clear. Ball. Oh, that is a majestic goal. Volley home with precision and style. Superbly done. Oh, a nice looking pass. Able to clear the danger. Corner. Must take the lead here. And able to get a body in the way. But well, they could run onto it here. And quite simply, a wonderful chance. Well, he couldn't quite keep it on target. Just wide. He takes on the shot. Can they forge ahead? They do. And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Maybe they break forward once. So that will be all for the first half here in Hannover. Well, he's been a long way from his best up front, Stuart. Yeah, I've been really disappointed with him today, Derek. He just hasn't looked himself. Can he put it away? Oh, he wasn't ruthless enough in front of goal. Can he convert? Oh, a good diving save. Well, these fans have had to be patient. Could they? Now sending it in. And it goes! The leveler! Thrilling stuff here. It's a lovely goal. Must take the lead here. Keeper did his job to begin with. Still trying to make something happen. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, not quite the header he had in mind. It's been very entertaining so far. And it's played into the centre. High degree of difficulty to hit it. Hands on deck. In possession to give them the lead, maybe. Oh, terrific save. Save, but still a chance. Oh, chance taken. There. Well, a dramatic moment near. Well, they've given him too much space. Not all that hard. Oh, hold on, Stuart. They're in here. Post. And rattling the post. Shot attempted. And that is the end of the game. It goes into the history books as a home defeat. 
Well, Derek, certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little bit off the pace for me, and obviously a disappointing result. But the key thing is, they bounce back now, and they can't afford a repeat performance. Well, there's a good reason why we're highlighting him. Really dominant in attack in this game, Stuart. Yeah, he'll be happy coming off the pitch. He worked hard, he was always involved in the game, and he scored a very good goal. That was an impressive performance today. So, a much better episode from ourselves, all starting with that Armenia Bifald game with the 4-2 victory. They, they went 2-0 up, took all the advantage. We had a slow start, but we got better as the game went on, so it was generally a good comeback. Uh, so, I was going to say 4-2, we went 2-0 down, made it 2-1, with a Miri penalty, and then got a very early equaliser in the second half, with two shots, make it 2-2, and then quite quickly again made it 3-2. And then Biden sealed the 4-2 victory. I mean, we had 11 shots, there, 5. We had 7 on target, there, 5 on target. Zeele really had to make 2 saves. We only forced 3 saves at their keeper. We had more possession, 54-46. to 46. So generally, just an OK game. and a good 3 points to get against top of the league. Moving on then to the Sandhausen game away from home. We blew them out of the park. We had four, they had 4 shots to our 18 shots. They had four on target to our ten on target. We forced five saves out of their keeper to our three. Two shot and Vidant both bagging a brace. So can't really complain about that. That was four goals right there. And Biffal popped up with the other goal. It was a nice 5 1 victory. I mean, it's a good three points. Great attacking from the game. And generally a nice game to play. Sandhausen couldn't keep up. Uh, then obviously the Derby match against Braunschweig. We lost 3 2. So two wins out of three. Not going to really complain. It was one of them unlucky games, really, to be fair. We had, they they just edged it, to be fair. They went 1-0 up. We got 1-1, one, one, then 2-1, then 2. We, we got the equaliser, and then they just nicked it late on. Possession was even, 52-48%. to 48%. We had 13 shots to make. They had 8 shots. We had 7 on target to their 8 on target. Both keepers making 5 saves. Being Wolf and Viden did get the goals for us in that match. Generally, an unlucky game. But, say, six, six points out of nine isn't terrible. So, let's have a quick look at the league table to see where we stand now. Sitting on 18 games, 37 points. We bought, I mean, we're two points off Bochum, four points off Arminia Bifeld, and five points off Schalke. So, the gap, as long as we still keep in cutting distance, we're still being competitive. We have had some departures from the team. Uh, Eric Ullman has left for Umrania Spore in Turkey for 490000 We sold him just in January. Uh, we would have had a pre-agreed transfer for Schwab. He's gone to Alche, as we agreed that earlier in the deal. A youngster, David Peters, has gone out on loan to... Well, he's gone out on loan to Finn Harps. And Sterl, Sterl has left, Simon Sterl has left for Kasim Passa. Kasim Passa. In Turkey and Leopold has left for Michelin. The board are happy with us because we have signed a player in the forward position, which we'll get into now. So, then players already agreed to leave anyway. But looking at things in terms of transfers, we have signed Victor Gokarez from Coventry for £9 million. I thought he's, he's obviously just signed a contract, he was low on contract anyway, but for £9 million. Quid, we, well, we could have got him on a free contract, but then I think he just signed a contract. But I think still to get him for nine million quid from Coventry, he's a very good striker from Sweden. Twenty-five years old, seventy-seven overall, not bad. I think he's definitely going to part in a two shot despite Vidant's good form. Uh, Tangai and Dombele, we've signed on a pre-contract from Tottenham. Good eighty overall, twenty-seven year old from France. I think he's definitely going to come in on a rotation role, and I think he'll definitely strengthen the midfield for next season. And Davison Sanchez has also joined on a three-month contract to strengthen the back line for next season. So that's two players already to come in. We're still looking at players, still getting player scout reports. But I mean, Victor Gokarez, I mean, he's just gone for sport in Lisbon in real life. He's had a great year for Coventry. Comparing him to Vidant, I mean, there's an age difference. 25 to 28. He's not as tall, but he's definitely more, a lot better on the stats. Better pace, better shooting, better passing, better dribbling, better physical, better physicality. I mean, Vidant's having a good season, to be fair. 
but I think Gokaraz will definitely provide a bit more quality. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe for more. And I'm out. Peace.